Welcome back. It's art time class. Today, we're going to be using a horizon line in our drawing. And with our color pencils, we are going to be blending our colors. Let's get started. So a horizon line to start is the line that runs across the paper. And it is where the sky meets the ground. So for example, here is the road. You can see there's a line right there. Here is the desert. Here's the line right there. There's the horizon line on the ocean. The ocean horizon line might be wavy depending on what the waves might be. So here's that horizon line. Um, and then on this picture for the horizon line, I made one side day and one side night instead of making this ground. So if some of you want to do like day and night, um, you can do that as well. When you are drawing your horizon line, you're just going to use your ruler, place that on your paper, and you want to spread your fingers out, and then you'll draw your horizon line up against that. There we go. Looks good. So this one's going to be a tree, um, and I'm thinking the tree is going to come up right here. I'll probably have some branches. And then under the tree in the ground is roots. So I'm going to add some roots down here. Thought that'd be really cool to see how a tree can grow underneath. I could add like dinosaur bones if I want to do add something fun. Um, I think that would be cool. A little... Dinosaur bone set. like a little fossil down there or something I think that would look cool what what do y'all think um, and a little bit of tree there so now that I have this done um, my outline of everything I'm going to start coloring and we are using the color pencils remember get your trash bucket that stays with the color pencil container the top container should only have one eraser and one pencil sharpener and then inside of here should only be co color pencils. If you see a normal pencil, like this is a normal pencil, but it might disguise itself as a color pencil. Take that out. Those have a different place to be, right? So with this, I'm going to start picking a few colors and blending. So for example, I might have white and blue versus blue, black, and purple. Or I might have blue and dark blue, like light blue and dark blue, versus light blue and green to make all these different shades and variations. Um, I think my favorite is in the desert where the sun goes from that yellow to that light blue to the dark blue to the purple at the edge here. I really like the way the desert turned out. Um, so over here, let's see, let's do a little light blue and a little dark blue. Here's a little purple. Here's my pencil sharpener. Yes. And I'm just gonna start blending in some color. Um, this is what I'm gonna be looking for is how we're coloring. Last week, a lot of people were doing this. Do y'all see this, what my hand's doing? Don't do that. It should, it should look like more like this. Your pencil should be laying down more. Unless you're trying to create thinner lines, it should be laying down. So my pencil is laying on its edge. And I'm kind of making circles or ovals. And look right there. I made a mistake. Do y'all see that? There's like lines right there. Well, I'm just going to keep blending around it and eventually they'll disappear. So I just need to be careful. See that? I might be pressing too hard. I want to add in some light blue to this. I like the way it looks, but it needs some light blue. What do y'all think? Oh no! No! no. <sighs> I 
do not like it when that happens. Alright, let's try that again. There's like a crack in there somewhere. That happens when people tap the pencils. They create cracks in the these little sticks of color. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's like... Ah, again! That is so frustrating! Isn't that frustrating when that happens in class, guys? Okay, I think it's okay now. <laughs> a few moments later. Take a deep breath. Calm down. It's just a color. This might just be a bad color pencil. They're all donated, so we're bound to get a few bad ones. Okay, there we go. Now I can blend color. Yes. I'm really blending that color. Makes it more cloudy. Alright, let's add in just a little bit of this darker color over here. So I like it when you have three when you get three colors together, they start looking really cool. So it's like darker on that side. Okay. Some greens. I love how you can have a dark green, a light green, medium green. There's so many greens. Bottom of my tree should be darker. And probably a few little dark areas up there. Didn't even use that one. Oh, there we go. And I think for the wood grain, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna do a point because I want. I want them more like lines and branches. And then for the dirt itself, I'm going to do this so it's lighter. In color. And I want to be sure to go around my skeleton. Yay! And then I think I'm going to outline a little bit more just so he'll pop out. Oh, that made him look angry. <laughs> okay. Yay! I like it! So here's a close-up of the different ones. Day and night. The road. Desert. I just put the the ocean just so it sounds fancy. Like I put a little SpongeBob down there. <laughs> um, so that's just a little bit. Um, you could. You don't have to do these ideas. There's so many different ideas that you could do. You get to pick whatever it is you want to decorate your circle with. Um, so again, you're going to trace with the circle, horizon line, and then blend colors. The choice of what's inside is up to you. Well, I cannot wait to see what you are going to make in the art room. Till next time, keep being creative.